Are you in a position where you can add some pieces? Yes, we are. We're, we're definitely in a position. And I would think that if you are um, a smart basketball player and you watch the way she plays, you would want to play with her. Caitlin Clark has turned the Indiana Fever into the WNBA's biggest story. A team once stuck at the bottom is now the top destination for free agents because of her. Can Clark's superstar talent attract the game changers the Fever need to make a run at the title? The spotlight is brighter than ever, the competition is fierce, and time is running out. This is the moment that could change everything for Indiana. Let's get into it. A behind-the-scenes look at Mitchell and Clark's growing chemistry off the court. Kelsey Mitchell, the Indiana Fever's offensive engine for seven seasons, is facing her most critical decision yet. As an unrestricted free agent, she knows that this choice could reshape not only her future but the entire franchise's trajectory. Mitchell put up an impressive 19.2 points per game last season, showing she's still one of the league's elite scorers. But with Caitlin Clark in the mix, the team dynamic is shifting rapidly. Mitchell has been the face of the fever, but now Clark's arrival has created a new power dynamic. Does Mitchell want to stay and share the spotlight or is it time for a change? Here are Mitchell's candid thoughts on playing alongside Clark and what it means for her future. Getting a little bit more shine and getting the recognition yeah. that yeah. you deserve, ah, but maybe weren't you. necessarily yeah. getting before. No, that's a great question. I think that, uh, I think the reality of it is that, uh, I don't think people would have known what I see squared, so shout out to Caitlin. <laughs> um, that's just the reality. I think she's done an unbelievable job of bringing, you know, obviously her own fans and people that support her. But, you know, for me, I kind of laugh at it and I embrace it at the same time because I've always kind of flew under the radar. Um, I've always kind of been that person or that player, very conservative, um, very introvert. So um, now I get to see the flip side of it. It's kind of funny. I, I, I can laugh about it because I know it's come from a genuine place, but... Um, I embrace it from a standpoint of like people not people not you know guaranteed to see me play, and now that they do, um, I just hope I do right by it. You know, there's tension in the air. Dot will Mitchell embrace the opportunity to pair her scoring prowess with Clark's playmaking? A combination like that could give the Fever a backcourt feared across the league. But with free agency looming, the question remains: Will Mitchell stay to build with Clark, or does she seek a bigger role elsewhere? For a player who has given everything to this team. The pressure to make the right decision has never been more intense. Mitchell shares her pride and excitement in teaming up with a rising star like Clark. You've changed the world in so many ways. Um, if you've done it with so much grace. And I'm so happy to take the floor with you um, to be, be a part of this experience. As Mitchell contemplates her future, the Fever have a chance to bring in a player who could alter their fate entirely. Neka Ogumaik, a name that resonates with championship grit and experience, is now at a pivotal point in her career. After years of leading the Los Angeles Sparks, the nine-time All-Star is exploring her options in free agency. Ogwa Mike's decision to consider Indiana is a testament to the seismic shift caused by Caitlin Clark's arrival. In 2024, she averaged 16.6 points, 7.6 rebounds, and a remarkable 40% from beyond the arc. These aren't just solid stats, they're the numbers of a game changer. Watch Ogwa Mike's standout moment showcasing her skills as an elite forward. But why would a player of Ogwa Mike's caliber consider joining a team like Indiana? It's simple Clark's presence changes the game. The prospect of pairing Ogwa Mike's interior power with Clark's dynamic playmaking could create one of the most lethal duos in the league. Ogwe Mike has seen it all she's been through title runs and knows what it takes to win. Her addition wouldn't just bring skill, it would bring a championship mindset to a team that's hungry for a new identity. Here, Ogwe Mike discuss her excitement at the possibility of joining Indiana as a core front court player. I mean, I thought, I thought that they were, they were professional, like as, you know, as, as anyone at this level would be. Um, you know, I'm, I'm always impressed by the two of them. I think it was also really fun to see them playing together tonight. Um, they had some synergy and the maturity that they have going in, not even just being here at All-Star. And yet, the clock is ticking. Ogwa Mike knows that time is running out to make another deep playoff run before the window closes on her prime years. Does she trust the Fever's vision enough to take the leap? 
Can she see a future where she's not just a veteran presence, but the key to Indiana's transformation into a true contender? The stakes are sky high, and the decision could define the next chapter of her storied career. See how Agu Mike shows affection for Caitlin Clark. You too. What's up, how are you? How are you doing? Good to see you. you got the yeah. But while experience is valuable, the Fever are also eyeing a young star who could redefine the future of this team. Satu Sibali is not just a rising star, she's a potential game changer. At only 25 years old, Sibali's ceiling seems limitless. In 2023, she posted an incredible 19.4 points, 8.4 rebounds, and 4.5 assists per game. She's versatile, she's hungry, and most importantly, she sees Caitlin Clark as the type of talent that can take her game and the fever to the next level. Check out Sabley's top plays that earned her recognition as one of the WNBA's rising stars. It's missed by Odyssey. Half court key by Sabley, and she gets it! Welcome back, Sartu! Sabley has publicly called Clark a generational talent acknowledging the buzz and energy that Clark brings to the fever. It's not just lip service Sabley knows that teaming up with a player like Clark could take her career to new heights. Imagine a duo where Clark handles the playmaking duties while Sabley stretches the floor and attacks the rim. It's the kind of dynamic that could turn a good team into a terrifying contender. Sabley offers her perspective on playing with a talent like Clark and what it could mean for her future. Caitlin is an amazing generational talent and she's going to do amazing things. But Caitlin is the face right now and that's also good. She's selling out gyms. Why would you hate against that? We had a sold out home opener. I think it was a practice game, like it wasn't even serious. We benefited from that because now we have all our fans there and they're excited and you have new people coming into a market. She is her own economy and that is amazing because she's the reflection of what should happen in women's sports. Yet Sabley's connection to the Fever goes deeper than just the allure of Clark's talent. The Fever's new GM, Amber Cox, is her former boss, adding another layer of intrigue to the potential partnership. Could this familiarity and trust be the edge that brings Sabley to Indiana? With other teams knocking on her door, the Fever have to move fast to secure her commitment. For Sabley, it's a chance to make a statement and prove that she's ready to be a key part of something bigger than herself. Hear Sabley talk about the massive impact Caitlin Clark has had on the league. Because there were way too many Caitlin fans in our <laughs> um, But like, it just kudos because yeah. it's amazing to see so many people in women's basketball jerseys. It's amazing to see the excitement and the, the joy that comes out of that. With Sabley's potential in play, Indiana could be building a youthful core, but they'll need more firepower to truly compete. Kelsey Plum has built her reputation as one of the deadliest shooters in the WNBA, with a 41.4% three-point shooting accuracy in 2023. But as the Las Vegas Aces face a looming salary cap crunch, Plum finds herself at a crossroads. Indiana has emerged as a potential landing spot, and the thought of joining Caitlin Clark has caught Plum's attention. She's the kind of player you want to play with, Plum has said, emphasizing Clark's unselfishness and ability to elevate those around her. Kelsey Plum opens up about how she views Caitlin Clark as a teammate and competitor. You know, I've been in this program. Uh, Caitlin oh. Clark! Caitlin Clark! <laughs> I love thee. Uh, uh, I don't even remember what I was saying. Plum's skill set could perfectly complement Clark's game. As a shooter who isn't afraid to take big shots, Plum could provide the scoring punch the fever need to close out tight games. Pairing her with Clark could create a backcourt that forces defenses to stretch thin, creating matchup nightmares for opponents but this opportunity comes with immense pressure. If Plum chooses Indiana, she won't just be stepping into a new team, she'll be joining a franchise that's fighting to redefine itself. The pressure to perform will be intense, with every three-pointer carrying the weight of a city's hopes. Hear how Plum guided Clark through the challenges of collegiate basketball. Kelsey, you have been so unbelievably gracious. Caitlin's father, Brent, wanted me to thank you for the help that you gave his daughter and family navigate all these eyes, all this pressure, how were you so gracious in this moment? You know, I think that for me, when I was in that position, um, I just wanted some love. And I think that, uh, you know, you remember how you feel and you try to pass it on. And I know that, you know, whoever comes next, Caitlin will remember that and uh, she'll do the same. 
Yet the question remains, does Plum believe that Indiana is ready to win now, or will she stick with more established contenders? The answer could reshape the balance of power in the WNBA, with Plum's shooting potentially turning the fever from outsiders to serious threats. It's a high-stakes decision that could make or break Indiana's championship dreams. Watch some of Plum's top moments showcasing her scoring abilities. Plum, nasty step back and the hit from deep. Wow. How but the Fever's aspirations go beyond scoring they need to build a defensive identity, and that's where Gabby Williams could change everything. In the WNBA, defense can be the difference between a playoff run and an early exit and Gabby Williams is exactly the kind of defensive presence the Indiana Fever need. Williams' 2024 season may have been brief just 12 games due to her overseas commitments, but her impact was undeniable. As a key player in France's silver medal run at the Paris Olympics, Williams proved she can perform under the brightest lights. See how Williams' defensive skills could complement Clark's offensive prowess. I can prevent that tonight. Gabby Williams with the pick. Oh, behind the back to Joel Hello! Showtime on a Wednesday night! It's Williams has been a fan of Caitlin Clark's game for years, and she sees the potential for something special in Indiana. Clark is a game changer she once tweeted after watching one of Clark's standout performances. Williams' defensive skills, combined with Clark's offensive genius, could create a balanced attack that few teams can match. It's a combination that could take Indiana from being simply competitive to being feared. Watch Fagbenel's impactful plays that show her importance to Indiana's defense. Fagbenle tips it away and off and running. Caitlin Clark whips a pass, thread the needle, my goodness. But there's a risk. Williams' limited availability in the WNBA raises questions about her commitment to the league, and Indiana can't afford another season without consistency. Can she balance her international commitments with a full-time role in the WNBA? And if she does, will her presence be enough to stabilize the Fever's defense? These questions loom large as Indiana considers making a serious play for her talent. Listen to Cox's promise to provide the resources needed for the Fever to thrive. This is a place where players can come and, and get better and um, be surrounded by an organization that supports you, where they're going to have everything they need to be successful. For a team like Indiana that's building its identity around a new star in Caitlin Clark, Fagbenel's presence could be the difference between being a middling defense and a true contender. Her ability to guard the paint and provide rim protection gives the Fever a backbone they sorely lacked. Yet, it's a gamble can she stay on the court long enough to be that anchor. And if the injuries resurface, will the Fever be left with another season of defensive struggles? It's a high-stakes risk for both sides. Hear Fagbenel's thoughts on being part of a team led by a young star like Clark. Catherine, darling! I am so, so, so proud of you. Congratulations on Rookie of the Year. So very well deserved. You've shown that not only do you belong, but you're here to stay. Fagbenel herself has expressed a desire to return to Indiana, praising the team's resilience and the chemistry they've built. We found a way to keep pushing, she remarked about last season's challenges. But as the Fever weigh their options, they have to decide whether to bet on her staying healthy or look elsewhere for their defensive fix. It's a decision that could define their season. Listen as Sims discusses her respect for Clark's talent and work ethic. I mean, everybody's been watching Kayla. She's a great player. Um, she's playing at a very high level, uh, especially with her assists. Like, there's a lot of shots she turned down because she was looking for her teammates. I mean, that just speaks volume of how she is as a player. Um, I don't know her as a person, but she's a great player. Uh, what she does, what she's been doing since game one till now, um, got nothing but respect for her. She did her thing tonight. Um, just awesome all around. But the Fever need more than defense. They need a scoring punch, and a proven veteran like Odyssey Sims could be the answer. Odyssey Sims is a player with a point to prove. After being passed around the league, she found herself on a hardship contract with the Dallas Wings in 2024, where she reminded everyone of what she's capable of averaging 17.2 points per game. That wasn't a fluke. Sims followed that up by starting 10 games for the Los Angeles Sparks, where she averaged 10.8 points and shot a career-high 52% from the field. Here Sims share her excitement about potentially playing alongside Clark. Accolade, she's Rookie of the Month, Player of the Month, back-to-back -back Player of the Week, and she has put forth the state. 
Sims has been vocal about her admiration for Caitlin Clark, calling her a player who makes everyone better, and for a team like the Fever, adding a proven scorer like Sims could be crucial. With Clark handling the playmaking, Sims could focus on doing what she does best putting points on the board. Imagine the pressure it would take off Clark, allowing her to attack defenses more strategically. It's a potential partnership that could elevate the Fever's offense from dangerous to lethal. But Sims comes with her own set of challenges, at 31, she's entering the later stages of her career, and the question remains whether she can maintain the level of play that she showed in 2024. There's also the issue of fit will she be able to adjust to a new role where she might not be the first scoring option. These are the questions that the Fever need to answer as they consider whether to make a serious offer to the veteran guard. Here Nurse discuss how Clark's presence could transform the Fever. It's been great to see Caitlin kind of step in into our league and she's definitely put up some numbers. She's had a couple of growing pains here and there too, but all of us went through that as a rookie. With scoring depth potentially secured, the Fever could add leadership and experience in the form of a seasoned player like Kia Nurse. Kia Nurse's comeback story is one of grit and determination. After a devastating ACL injury sidelined her for the entire 2022 season, Nurse fought her way back to the court in 2023. Her return wasn't just about playing again, it was about proving that she still belongs among the WNBA's elite. In 2024, Nurse shot a career-high 48% effective field goal percentage, a testament to her improved shooting touch and refined game. Nurse shares what she finds inspiring about Clark's game and potential. But protecting your space is huge, and especially because there is so much kind of on her shoulders. And I think, you know, she'd have to handle it in a quick span of time too. You don't even really get a lot of time to digest that. Your college career is done because then you get drafted, then you get thrown in the WNBA. Now, as she explores free agency, Indiana could be the fresh start she needs. Nurse brings something invaluable to the Fever leadership. As a key player for Canada's national team, she has experience guiding young players through high pressure situations. And in Indiana, she would have the chance to mentor rising stars like Caitlin Clark, while adding a reliable three-point threat to the team's offense. She's got an energy that's contagious nurse has said of Clark, acknowledging the rookie's potential to shake up the league. Charles talks about the ripple effect of Clark's presence in the WNBA. Yeah, I mean, the energy that we're getting, the reception, the eyes that we're getting on us, um, it's amazing. And it's just because of that new generation that's coming in. But leadership and shooting aren't all the fever need, adding a true veteran star like Tina Charles could elevate them to the next level. Tina Charles is a name that carries weight in the WNBA, a former MVP and eight-time All-Star. She's one of the most accomplished players in league history. But as she approaches the twilight of her career, one thing remains elusive a championship ring. In 2024, Charles averaged 16.6 .6 points and 7.6 rebounds per game, proving she still has plenty of fuel left in the tank. Listen to Charles discuss the impact of Clark's talent on the WNBA and her interest in joining the Fever. Obviously, we know who Caitlin Clark is and, and what she's been able, her impact in this league and, and especially this year. So however we can get it, we, I'll take it for me personally. So just thankful that I'm able to be a part of it and still be here to see, to witness it, yeah. And now with free agency on the horizon, she's looking for a team that can give her that final shot at glory. But for Charles, the decision isn't simple. The choice to leave behind familiar settings for a team in transition carries significant risk. If the Fever can't put the right pieces around Clark, even Charles' best efforts might not be enough. It's a gamble on the future one that could see her finally secure the elusive ring or end her career with unfinished business. As she considers her next move, the WNBA landscape is holding its breath. Hear Erica Wheeler's thoughts on how Clark's presence could shape the team's future. All we do is have fun. With Caitlin Clark, who never takes anything serious, like, <laughs> you know, I tell people all the time, she's really a kid at heart. As the Fever consider their options for veteran leadership, there's one familiar face who could bring stability and continuity to this young team, Erica Wheeler. Erica Wheeler is a player who embodies perseverance. Undrafted out of college, she fought her way into the WNBA, eventually becoming an all-star MVP with the Indiana Fever. Now, she's a free agent once again, and the Fever have a big decision to make. Wheeler reflects on what it means to be part of a new era for the Fever with Clark at the helm. They are lighthearted, so they allow us to have fun. But there's moments where we need to be serious, and we are serious, but majority of the time we be having fun because you gotta understand the outside world was really trying to get inside this building, we just didn't let it. And having fun is a great way to kind of keep that up. 
Wheeler's return to Indiana could provide a steady hand for a team in transition, offering both leadership and playmaking. Her chemistry with Caitlin Clark is undeniable, and she's spoken highly of the rookie, calling her a kid at heart who brings energy to every game. Retaining Wheeler would mean more than just bringing back a fan favorite it would give the fever a floor general, who understands the team's culture and has the ability to rally the locker room. See how Wheeler commits to pushing the team forward in pursuit of a title. When you think big picture, you came back to this franchise to ultimately help them get back to the playoffs as a leader and as a player. And I know there are bigger goals, but to have accomplished that, what does it mean to you? It just shows the type of group that we had that, you know, the start didn't look very promising and how it just was able to just capitalize on the break and just make a run and really just play some great basketball. It just shows the work that we all put in. So for me to come back and witness that, it's probably one of the best feelings. Wheeler's ability to push the pace and create scoring opportunities could make a significant difference for Indiana's offense, especially as Clark adjusts to the demands of the pro game. But it's also a question of dollars and cents Wheeler is one of the higher paid players in the league, and Indiana needs to decide if they're willing to invest in her experience. You remember this? Look, SVP. Um, <laughs> reality is coming. Okay. <laughs> you know, there's, there's yes. levels to this thing. And now for the surprise player who could change everything for the fever Diana Taurasi. Diana Taurasi is a living legend, a player whose name is synonymous with winning. But as she enters free agency, she finds herself at a crossroads. At 42 years old, she's seen it all in the WNBA. Yet one more challenge intrigues her, the chance to mentor a new generation. A touching moment between two generations of basketball greatness. Bar and check. She is Tarasi has softened on the idea of playing alongside rookies, especially after seeing Caitlin Clark's impact. She's a rare talent, Tarasi said recently, showing a new willingness to embrace the role of mentor. But the risk is undeniable. Tarasi's body has been through countless battles, and the question of how much she has left is very real. Hear Tarasi's glowing review of Clark's potential during her last press appearance. Yeah, I mean, it's amazing, uh, you know, what Caitlin's been able to do um, in her short career so far has just been uh, nothing short of remarkable. Um, and, you know, the one thing that I really love about her, she loves the game. Um, you can tell she's put the work in. Um, and even, you know, throughout, you know, her short WNBA career, uh, it's been a lot of pressure, a lot of things thrown at her. And, uh, you know, she keeps showing up and keeps getting better every single game. So um, her future is, is super bright and, uh, you know, being a veteran and being in this league for a long, long time, uh, you know, it's pretty cool to see that and, you know, going into the future. If the Fever commit to bringing her in, they're banking on her being able to contribute immediately. It's a high risk, high reward scenario that could either give Indiana the veteran boost they need or leave them searching for answers. As the clock ticks down on Tarasi's decision, the entire league is watching. The pieces are on the board and the next moves could define the future of the Indiana Fever. Can they assemble a roster that turns them into true contenders, or will they fall short of the hype? Let's see what happens next. Thank you for watching. If you're excited to see how the Indiana Fever and Caitlin Clark's journey unfolds, don't forget to like this video, subscribe to the channel, and turn on notifications so you never miss an update. The stakes couldn't be higher and every decision could make or break their title hopes. What do you think are we witnessing the birth of the WNBA's next dynasty? Drop your thoughts in the comments below and let's keep the conversation going. See you in the next video.